Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. This is Bandit. He loves me, don't you buddy? And, oh yeah, sorry about that. I know you wanted to stay on my lap. We've got a big box, a really big box. Do you want to see what's in it? So do I, so I'm gonna shut up and let's get to the tabletop and find out. Let's begin this unboxing with this Tucson. TS, I think it's 156 or 159, I forget. 14C28N, it's like 40 bucks before your discount at White Mountain Knives. Of course, they're out of stock when I'm recording this on March 22nd, but you can hit the notify me link and maybe it'll come back. Leave your email address and uh, you could get it back. Get one, could be available before too long, I don't know. I just know that the uh, two sun knives, they sell so quickly at White Mountain Knives that it's always great to have a heads up for when they're gonna be coming out. Um, it doesn't wanna open from the side, don't know why. Oh, that's tape there. Okay, fine, whoa, let's take it out from the end. And we get all these little these things are falling out all over the place. We've got a two knife. We've got a two sun knife. We've got a two sun knife. We've got a cold steel. Oh, you might have seen the name of it already on there. And I think that's it. I think there should just be four knives in there. Okay, let's put these to the side. Why do I have a Bushman? These have been out for a long time. Well, I've never reviewed it, and because it's getting harder to get fixed blade knives, I mean, locking folding knives into Canada. Uh, especially right now at the border, it's just nuts. So, I figured, I would order some knives that uh, are going to make it across the border no problem. So I've got fixed blades and uh, well, I don't have locking folders um, unless it's a back lock. I don't think I even ordered a back lock. So ABS plastic sheath, belt loop, snappity snap. There's a hook. You can hang it up when you're not using it. We've got a ferro cerium rod, just a short one. Ooh, that's heavy. That's a very dense rod, heavier than most for that size. And of course, no paracord for it, but there is a hole through there. And danger, do not grip above this line. Yeah, you might hurt yourself. There we go. Now, Okay, is that grease? Yeah, there's grease left all, all over that thing by the edge of the blade. I guess they don't want it to rust. I believe this is carbon steel. Uh, forget off the top of my head exactly which carbon steel it is. But a lot of people have reviewed this knife. So there's lots of reviews out there if you want it. There's a hole right there. Uh, hollow shaft, great for, you know, Shaping a piece of wood, you use the knife to shape a piece of wood to put in there. And if you have a screw, you can even screw it on so it doesn't move. And then you've got a spear. It's not perfectly in the center. You see the blade there? So it's a little bit off to one side, but hey, it's not terrible. It says Bushman over here. And this is very budget friendly. So if you always wanted a spear, but you just can't afford to buy a proper spearhead, maybe consider this. Um, I'll review this with and without some uh, wrap for the handle. It's certainly for big hands and um, might actually be better for lefties than for righties, I think, because the blade is, you know, if I hold it like this, you know, the blade is on this side. When you hold it in your right hand, 
now the cutting edge is further into your hand and it just seems like it's at an awkward spot for where you hold it but for the left hand you know it's in line with my thumb my thumb goes across there and it's in line in my right hand it's the other way so maybe this is one case where they inadvertently made a left-handed tool a left-handed knife for the masses <laughs> anyhow the cold steel bushman it might take until the weather is really nice so i can show you uh me using it outside for certain tasks but you know sheath abs plastic there's a hole right there in the end it might be a decent budget knife in my opinion a lot of people say it's a really nice budget knife well we'll find out what jake thinks thinks uh, later on now we got a tucson fixed blade now it's not one of those um, kitchen knives i saw this uh, they might be sold out already because i saw this on the new list where when new knives come in always check the new list at white mountain knives uh, they have stuff going up there almost every single day there's no specific time of day when they go up so you just got to check when you're available so we've got a burlap micarta a uh, taco style kydex sheath and look at that buoy blade Nice stone wash finish. I have to turn down this light a little bit to see if I can. See if I turn down my overhead lights, then everything just looks really dumb. So I gotta turn my overhead lights on to make the colors look a little more normal. And then when the glare's on there, you just can't see it. A little sharpener's choil, upswept right there for your thumb. It says TS309 on there because they're starting to put their model numbers on. I like how it's nice and small badging on here. 14C28 and, and the designer's logo there. I'm not familiar with that logo. I'll have to look them up. Or her. Probably a him. Because just statistics. Lanyard hole right there at the back. That's actually quite comfortable. This probably is going to be a nice little knife. Oh, wait. It's a thicker behind the grind than I like. Then I prefer. I'm probably going to like it, but I prefer it to be a little thinner. Oh, well. And we've just got a slip-on belt loop. Hopefully, those dimensions are such that we could put a different belt loop on. We'll find out when I go to review it. Maybe I should take the sheaths off the screen here. So there you go. And um, yeah, let's look at the two knife. Have you seen my videos of two knife knives? Maybe not. It's been quite a while ago since I had a two knife. Um, this is the HT 2019 WS-S with 8CR14 MOV stainless steel and G10 handle scales. Um, I'm not sure if it's got a name. And there it is. It's got a Kydex sheath. Let's open that up. So this is small enough to be used as a neck knife if you want to. But it's got a steel belt loop as well, or pocket loop. Oh, totally sealed so let's just pull it through now that's g10 on there and like i said it comes i think in two colors and i've like i said i've reviewed a number of two knife knives but this might be my first uh, fixed blade from them so it looks like a little paring knife style a bird knife you know taken apart butchering a bird maybe feels quite thin behind the edge nova yes that's the name of it. it says nova right there some fine jimping on the spine that's actually nice and grippy and let's 
yeah, pretty good retention on there. Pretty good snap. And uh, yeah, we'll review it. Keeps getting smaller. It just keeps getting smaller. And what do we have from Tucson? We've got the TS-335. It says 28N, so I think it's 8C or 13, not, I mean 14C 28N, <laughs> stainless steel. This is a slip joint knife with a flipper. There's a high-end version with carbon fiber inlay. This is a nice burlap micarta inlay. And yes, it's a double detent slip joint. That's quite nice. That's not quite big enough. I think if I decide to keep this after I've made this video, I would probably make that bigger. You know, take, uh, take some of this away back here. Flipper might get shortened a little bit, but then you could have a forward grip. Right now, you can, if you got really tiny fingers, you can put it in there. But I think this is titanium as well. This thing's very light. Uh, yeah, decent balance point, but very, very light. And I'm just terrible with remembering designer names. Uh, you can see that logo there, sort of that X-shaped logo. It's, it's like a Y and then X. But nice, uh, nice uh, full flat. I'm going to call it a full flat grind. Sure, why not? Nice satin finish. Lots of oil on there, as is normal. But with this huge flipper there, that's, you know, it's just not going to close on you. It's going in your finger. Nice little knife. So, there you go. Thanks for watching this unboxing. Thanks for uh, supporting my channel. If you want to support it financially, go to patreon.com cce or click join right down below here. If you haven't subscribed, click that first. And uh, for as little as $2 American a month, $3 Canadian a month, you can support the channel and you will get access to all my knife sales first before anybody else. And there's uh, the number of supporters I have is in the low 50s right now. So those are pretty good odds that you're going to find something that you like. And one of you guys wins the knife of your choice at the end or at the start of every month. And you get to choose from almost anything that I reviewed in the previous month. The odd time I keep a knife. But not that often because I live on a disability pension. So my income means that I have to sell almost everything I review just so that I can get more stuff to review. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I appreciate all those things. They really do make a difference. Just say hi in the comments or something that really does help the algorithm. And remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.